Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and to this video. For today painting we will be using this Claire Fontaine watercolor paper 300 GSM or 140 pounds cold press. Also I will be using this flat brush from Raphael number 22, Raphael number 8 round brush, Lebenzahn synthetic brush and also this Pond Art round brush number 2. I will be using my own watercolors and the colors are going to be blue, lighter brown and and a tiny bit of the darker brown. Also we will be needing a tissue paper and a pencil for doing our just a basic sketch. I will also be using a ruler to do the horizon line and a masking tape just to stretch our paper. So I will start with the sketch. I'm going to do the horizon line somewhere in the middle of my painting. And also I will be doing drawing a line for the beach where my beach is going to start. And that's going to be it. Quite simple. Now I will prevent the entire paper because I do want to paint the first layer wet on wet and create a light wash so starting with blue you can use ultramarine and some burnt umber and i'm going to paint in an upper part where my sky is going to be not going to try to paint one even wash but you can see that i'm using this larger flat brush and just doing quick strokes with the side of my brush and tip of my brush creating some movement in the sky and going all the way down into the sea and also into the beach a little bit more of the paint again using the side of this flat brush and then i will use a smaller round brush to create the lower part of the clouds with a tissue paper, I'm just going to go just above those lines I painted just yet with a round brush and pick up a little bit of the paint, creating some highlights for the clouds. When I'm happy with that, I will be painting in a little bit more of the details to the sea. I did not dry the paper, it's still wet. And I'm using this smaller round brush and just doing a straight lines. Since the paper is still wet, it's going to bleed and create some ripples and some highlights and shadows in my water. And some movement there also. I'm mixing in now a little bit more of the lighter brown again with the blue for the beach. And just going all the way to the line I painted, I drew. And also in the lower part. Mixed in a little bit more saturated paint this time using same colors. And you can see how I'm leaving some parts of the beach lighter. Using exactly the same strokes as I did for my sky. With a smaller brush, picking up a little bit more of the paint, adding some details, thinner lines, some, again, details on the beach. I'm gonna dry that fully. And now that it's dry, I will be doing details this time on the dry paper. So I'm using this synthetic brush from Levinson. All the materials I will list in the description box so you can find it there if you want to check something out. There is a link in the description. I'm using a very, very light desaturated paint. This is almost transparent. And painting in the horizon line, then just going just underneath the horizon line, adding some details to the water. I'm going to paint my sea very, very simply. And you can see I'm adding some little bit smaller and some little bit 
thicker lines very very light wash now I have mixed in a little bit more of the color to paint in some waves a bit more saturated this time they're closer to us so they are also a little bit darker and I'm using the tip of my brush to create the details you can use a detail brush here or a script brush that's also going to be fine or maybe some round brush with a nice pointy tip one that can hold that tip and just painting in details and trying to create the impression of some waves and again movement and my sea. And I'm trying to paint it as random as possible, leaving the lower part sketchy and also adding some lines there to create impression of maybe some foam there going in between with a lighter wash almost transparent everything just to create the movement in the sea so just nearest to the beach I'm gonna paint a very very light wash again almost transparent color to make it look like a wet beach like water descending from there and also I'm gonna add a bit more details to the beach using a light wash And in the lower part near to us, I'm going to mix in a little bit more of the brown and just paint in a bit more details also here. This time on a dry paper, so just painting wet on dry. Although my details are going to be done wet on dry. Some splatters also and I decided to add a couple of birds in the sky very very small one I'm using again this brush with a very nice pointy tip to paint in those very very small birds and you can see I'm using tip of my brush and then just pressing just slightly harder and then picking up and using again the tip of my brush adding a bit more of the paint just nearest to the shore to the beach and also at the end I decided to add a couple of birds just walking on the beach near to the water I painted them in first the bodies they're quite simple so you don't have to be super precise with that their legs and then I've picked up removed the tape and I was looking at those birds that were just looking a bit off to me so I decided to add a bit more details with this detail brush some paint there and I was missing a head to them and their, their legs were too short picked up a little bit of the paint with a tissue paper just to create some diversity in the body and to make those legs a little bit longer and with that guys we are done I hope you enjoyed this video and this painting process hope you're gonna give this a try this is a very simplified seascape so I'm sure if you're a beginner you can definitely give this a try and just make it a first step of yours to painting seascapes and if you did like it, please hit the like button, share it and comment. If you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. I have many, many tutorials there. If you want real-time videos, real-time tutorials, I have a Patreon page. So there is also a link in the description box. You might want to check that out. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope I will see you next time. Bye!